My brothers and sisters, what is unique about you? Have you ever asked yourself, what makes you special? For me, I'm a believer. For all of us, inshallah, we are believers. If I say I'm a believer, there needs to be something about me that is special. And if I don't realize that, if I don't pick it up, or if I don't make an effort to be someone who is special and unique in so many ways, then I have a problem. If Allah has given me the gift of recognizing Him, of believing in Him, surely the way I speak needs to be unique. The way I interact with people needs to be unique. He's chosen me to worship Him alone. He's chosen me to do so much good. And I call myself a believer. People out there watch me. They look at me. They see if they were to see goodness, it would reflect in a good way. But imagine them witnessing hooliganism, witnessing people with bad, dirty habits, people fighting with their spouses and children in public, or stories of them doing the nastiest things in their homes, being told to others who are not even believers, or even to other believers, what is so unique about me in that case? If anything, I'm reflecting badly on myself, on the people who follow the faith, and even on Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, unfortunately. And sometimes people might look at a bad way to Allah Almighty, na'udhu billah, just because those who claim to follow Allah are actually hooligans at times. Do you get what I mean? So there needs to be something unique. You need to understand you are an ambassador. You are an ambassador of the faith. You're an ambassador of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Ultimately, Allah has placed you on earth to enact and reenact that which he wants you to do. And there are people before you who have done it. There are messengers who came in order to show you how it's done. That was from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 